disease is an adult onset autosomal dominant disease. It occurs due to a mutation in either one or both copies of an individual's Huntington or HTT gene. Typical symptoms of Huntington's include neurodegeneration, altered personality, decline in cognitive function, and chorea, which is characterized by uncontrollable writhing movements of the body. Onset typically occurs between age 35 and 45, and is due to a buildup of the aberrant protein within the neurons. There are cases of juvenile Huntington's, and this occurs before age 21. The disease is more common in individuals of European descent, and approximately 1 in 10,000 people within the United States has Huntington's disease. Approximately 150,000 individuals have a 50% risk of developing Huntington's disease. The Huntington gene is located on the P arm of human chromosome 4. The part of this gene that causes the disease phenotype is a number of CAG repeats. When translated, this becomes the polyglutamine tract. The number of repeats an individual has will determine their likelihood of getting this disease. More than 40 really increases the likelihood. The function of the Huntington protein is mainly as a transcription factor or as part of vesicle exocytosis, although it has other functions, not all of which are known. In neurons, this mutant protein is especially dangerous because it causes protein aggregation through interactions of the polyglutamine tract, making it impervious to proteasome degradation. This is one of the proposed hypotheses for why this disease causes neural degeneration. The model organism we chose to study Huntington's disease in is C. elegans. C. elegans is transparent, so you can see any marker like GFP, and it also doesn't have an HTT ortholog, so it's a novel organism to study Huntington's disease in. We would start by engineering an extra chromosomal array with HTT and GFP as a marker. We would then inject this into the gonad of an adult worm. We would look for green progeny of this adult worm. And in that progeny, the green progeny, we would look for uncoordinated movement. HTT causes neural degeneration. However, in C. elegans, there is no apoptosis of mature neurons, so we can't look for cell death. So we would look for uncoordinated movement. And if we see uncoordinated movement, we can then flox out the repeats in the HTT gene, and we can create a new extra chromosomal array and do the experiment again, this time looking for coordinated movement. 